first of all, let's, uh, you know, they talk about how, you know, trucks are tough. That's one of the defining characteristics of a truck. So how tough is this truck? Let's find out. So we actually had to come up with a special ultra-strong uh, Tesla-designed steel alloy. So this alloy, did, this, this, this metal did not exist before. Uh, we needed something that you could actually manufacture, but uh, that, that would be, have basically no corrosion, um, that didn't need paint, uh, but you can still make it in volume. And part of the reason that it has this angular shape is you can't actually stamp these body panels. The body panels would break the stamping machine. So, uh, oh, and I should say also, the, because of the steel exoskeleton, it actually has more torsional rigidity than a sports car. It has more torsional stiffness than a McLaren P1. So it's, that's, very, that's a big deal. Now, what about utility? So, strength is great, but is this, is this a, you know, perhaps just a show truck, uh, just a, you know, a showpiece, or can it do actual work? How does it work as a real everyday truck? Well, here we have the future towing the future. So, uh, if, if, basically, if, if you can fit uh, any cargo in, in, the, in the trunk or in the bed, it, you, you can basically move it around. So it's got uh, over a ton of uh, payload capability, but you could really put more than that in it. Uh, you can tow over 11,000 pounds, um, and it's got a super tough composite bed, no liner needed. The bed is six foot long, four foot wide, and you can fit um, four, by eight feet, uh, four, four by eight pieces of plywood in with the, with the, uh, with the back down. Now, what about performance? So this, I should say, it's, it has an adaptive air suspension. So no matter what the load is, uh, you, it will, you can always have the, it can set the, the ride height at any, at, at low height, anything. It'll automatically adjust the damping according to uh, how much load it's carrying and the road conditions. Uh, it has a 17 inch ground clearance. That, that's a true 17 inches. The, it, with, typically with a truck, you'll, you'll get the differential hanging down low, uh, the rear differential, and that's t what you'll high side on a rock. Uh, but this, is, this has a completely flat bed. So you could, you could uh, drive over basically anything. We actually uh, did, took the Cybertruck on a, a Baja rally drive. So this is insane off-road capability. It has locking differentials, rear torque vectoring, uh, and the crazy thing is they'll do this all in comfort. Um, it has steer by wire, which is, it, if, it's one of the things where most people don't know what that means, but um, it's, what, it's how modern jets are designed, the steer by wire, which, which gives you variable gain. So if you turn the wheel, a small, the, steering, the steering yoke, a small amount in the parking lot, it will turn the wheels a lot. But if you, if you turn it on, on a highway, it turns the wheels a small amount. So it, it dynamically adjusts how, how much the wheels turn according to uh, what your speed is. Um, and this actually makes it very easy to drive. It actually, and it has a turning circle less than a Model S. So this thing can pack, practically turn it, you know, rotate on a you know, dime, basically. Um, it has incredible low speed maneuverability. And then uh, there's a lot of advanced details under the skin. Uh, it's the first time that a car is moving to a 48 volt uh, low voltage architecture from 12 volts, which has been around for 100 years. Um, we have Ethernet comms, uh, distributed controllers, allows for 70% less wire in the car. Um, and it's, uh, it's really, the, the internals are as advanced as the externals. It's, it's, uh, a whole new step change in the technology.